you know, we're dealing with, with human beings and, you know, you guys all chase the same schedule that we chase, right? You all work just as hard as most of the guys on the, the race team work. So um, I think first, you know, when I interview people nowadays, the, the first question is not, you know, how much you enjoy racing. It's how much do you enjoy traveling? You know, it's a different lifestyle. Uh, I think uniquely uh, for the Cup Series, yes, it's a lot of weekends away, uh, but more importantly than the weekends away, it's a different dynamic with how you set up your life, right? So, yes, there's a lot of travel. Um, we're very fortunate. The race teams are very fortunate, um, more so than, than you guys, who I have a lot more respect for because you're traveling commercially, and any more of that is not fun. It's not dependable. Uh, it's it's There's nothing positive, really, you can say about commercial travel. I don't care if you fly in first class every day. Uh, so all the teams, we're all flying private, right? So it's easy. We're, we're, we're leaving as late as we can to get there just in time for the garage to open, and as fast as we can get back to the airport after the race, we're home. Uh, so there's no real big deal there. I think the biggest dynamic is just enjoying traveling, enjoying being in other cities. Um, I think the, the schedules have condensed to the point now where it's, it's not really a tax on your time like it used to be. Um, but I think the most important aspect that you have to understand when you're going to go and work on a Cup Series team is that you have to recalibrate what a weekend is. You know, so when your friends or your family, they're all you know, enjoying their Saturday or Sunday and they're watching football games and they're out by the pool and they're doing this or they're doing that, you're working. And on that, our guys, normally their off days are a Monday and a Thursday. Well, on that Monday and Thursday, all your friends and family, they're working, right? So you don't get to enjoy the same family and, and friend dynamic that, you know, what I'll say a, a normal person does. So that's probably the most difficult part. But, but to answer your question on burnout, you know, I think that I'm, I'm proud of what we do at RWR. Uh, all of our guys work very normal hours. Uh, it's nowhere near as ridiculous as, as I've seen, you know, things happen. And even as a smaller group, uh, we've been very successful at turning our cars out. The guys have, you know, very set start and finish hours. No one's working any overtime. And we're able to get our guys the number of days off that they deserve. And everybody's happy, and we're going down the road. Um, and I think beyond what I've already said, the other important part, uh, more important now than I think it's ever been, is people. Again, you know, getting the right people to work together. And um, another thing I'm very happy about is we've been able to assemble a group of people who are all like-minded and synergistic enough that they come in, they work together as a team, they get their job done, they help each other, and they go home, and they enjoy their lives. We have very little drama, and uh, that's a very hard element to to get. I guess as a small team, would it help you if NASCAR ever shortened the schedule to make it, you know, end before the NFL or something like that, so you wouldn't have to travel and prepare cars for 36 weeks? Would that help a small team, or does it not really impact you guys that much? It, it, or would help the bigger teams the same as it would help small teams? Yeah, so it would help us as much as it would help you guys to have an eighth day in the week, right? But it's not going to happen. You know, races mean revenue, and, and, and everyone in this sport wants more. And we're not going to get more by shortening the schedule. So what we have to do is figure out how to balance what we have, how to figure out how to potentially grow that uh, without taxing the teams or the people anymore and figure out how to keep growing.